Welcome to Kill Mount Retro Tech. Hope you're having an awesome day because, well, my day is alright. Any day I can troubleshoot some uh, electronics, it's always a good day, but it's also frustrating. This is an Asus Transformer Pad K010. This tablet is an Android tablet and it has an issue I have yet to have faced on any electronic I have ever had, um, period, at this point. As this tablet boots up, I will quickly show you what exactly is wrong and why I need to fix it, or at least attempt to fix it, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, without, at least without buying something. So, you know, it's on the default boot up screen for when the tablet has been reset. So, you would might want to push next, right? Well, that ain't going to work. I did see on a much, much older tablet that sometimes resetting a tablet can um, fix uh, the digitizer of a touchscreen from not responding, but obviously that's not the case with this tablet. The digitizer appears to have completely stopped working, and I know it's not the full tablet itself because plugging in the rest of the tablet you can see here that it is indeed responding um, to external in uh, input it's just not responding at all to the touchscreen digitizer so let's shut this thing back down uh, since you guys know exactly what's going on and I am gonna go ahead and see if I can take this apart this top part at least. I could take this part and get this working again. I do plan on getting a tripod soon so I can start really showing you guys my process for this. This would be impossible to do with uh, uh, only one hand. But um, I was able to start getting this back off, weirdly enough, by like twisting the body of the tablet. I was almost going to completely give up on this thing because the uh, build of the thing is pretty sturdy, but kind of like, I wiggle it kind of like I'm wiggling the screen right here, and it's just, <laughs> some of the clips just kind of popped, which which for this specific um, teardown video, that's all right. I am in, I've got this off. If you're doing a teardown like me, basically all you have to do is kind of torque the chassis, kind of like I did. Uh, a little bit earlier and then use um, some plastic thing to like wedge in there to get more of those uh, tabs off and you're gonna be done there are no connectors or anything on the back of the shell it should just come off without any problems weirdly enough there's fingerprints on this uh, plain uh, chip cover here these are not my fingerprints, and I, if I remember correctly, I got this new. So that's probably from the factory. All right, so I don't see anything that's overtly wrong in terms of cables or any burns, leaked capacitors, or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do some additional poking and then just explain what I did later. So from the research I have done with this model, there might be like a small like capacitance issue with this cable, which is the digitizer cable. Now I did damage the coating a little bit. I really hope that didn't you know, absolutely kill the digitizer. Before I remove this, um, I took this out, which is the battery connector for the system. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in. Wait, after I put this in, uh, this requires me to be off camera. Okay, so yeah, basically what I've done is I've removed that um, after I'm plugging that. In theory, because I have taken off this tape um, and unplugged this, it should start working. If it doesn't, um, it's entirely possible that this damage right here is to blame, but I'm not entirely sure about that, and I don't really have a way I could test that. Uh, I guess I could, but eh, I don't really know enough about this to really um, make any judgments. Alright, 
So I'm gonna put these two back on and then we're gonna see if it turns back on again. All right, so I got all these cables in. I have focus, it's just not like me today. Hello. All right, so the power button is right there. Uh, focus is not my friend. Right, so I'm just gonna, just gonna hold this in and hope it works. All right, so I haven't totally broken it. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign. All right, animated logo. Still haven't broken it. All right, whoa. Hey, look at that, that works! I'm actually surprised that worked. <laughs> wow, that actually worked. Really? Wow, I am genuinely surprised that worked. Focus still isn't my friend today, but still, wow. Okay then, you learn something new every day. So, here's exactly what I did. When this tablet was still together, I torqued the body of the screen portion, kind of like this, uh, carefully, but, you know, enough to try and do something. That ended up popping out some of the clips. This thing has a bunch of clips. It's kind of like an Xbox 360 in that it doesn't have any screws holding the shell together. It's just clips. So if you're able to work a couple of those clips out by rocking it gently or, you know, uh, trying to slip a plastic thing in there very carefully and then undo all those clips, you are in here just fine. All you need to do is take the tape off of this, well, take the battery connector off of this board. All you have to do is just slide it out very carefully. Uh, I'm gonna go put this back together so I don't want to take that off again. And then you have to lift these uh, little tabs here for the cables so that the connectors will actually let go of these cables like that. A little hard to see, but like this. And the other side should too, but yeah, I don't want to do that again. Uh, so yeah, just straight up, all you have to do is disconnect it, maybe touch it just a little bit. Don't necessarily recommend that, but obviously reseating this does work. I'm very surprised that actually does work. With all that being said, thank you for tuning into this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And hopefully by the time I see you guys again, I will have a tripod so that I can actually film a little bit more about this process and not just telling you that after the fact.